The number of schools accredited by AMBA is growing all the time, more than 270 countries, many of them in emerging markets. Take, for example, the Graduate School of Business in Cape Town. It prides itself on what it calls full-colour thinking. To paint the picture for us, here's Sarah Lockett. V&A waterfront area of Cape Town. It's as smart as any major city with its shops and restaurants. But South Africa is one of the most unequal countries in the world and this creates problems that the University of Cape Town Graduate School of Business, or GSB, wants to address. Its director uses the term full colour thinking, which means challenging traditional assumptions about business and using multiple perspectives to solve complex problems. It is the role of a business school to help contribute to that economic development. We don't train people to make a happy few rich people. We train people to take a responsibility to be leaders and to use business, which per se is neutral, for the good. We've used it too much for the bad. Now, that's a choice. The GSB's business development director particularly wants to grow the next generation of African business leaders and entrepreneurs. Africa is a really complex and diverse place that is rich in kind of mineral resources um, but very poor in leadership and management so the role that we play really is around how do we create leaders who can take the countries and, and the continent further. The GSB is the top rated business school in Africa and internationally one of the FT's top 100 in the world. It's housed in a former jail for political prisoners. The architecture gives it away. It takes some two and a half thousand learners a year on various courses. And each student goes through a personal transformation, like former occupational therapist Kumeshni West. I have now moved into a space where I'm actually using all the MBA skills. So I'm in a general management position where I'm applying operational management and I'm applying um, people management. I'm applying my finance skills that I gained during the MBA. So completely different from where I was at doing clinical occupational therapy. Unusually, students can specialise their MBA in social innovation, where products and services are developed to address challenges such as housing, education and health. Fifteen scholarships are awarded every year for this, and the learning is very hands-on. We're not flying students in for a two-week field trip somewhere. They get to work for a period of four to six months with a community organisation, or with the, uh, the city of Cape Town, uh, or with uh, an innovative financing organisation or a microcredit institution to actually work with clients to understand the business model, to develop a new solution um, over a much more engaged period of time. It's very interesting to do an MBA, uh, not in US or uh, Europe, but here. Um, their opportunity, especially business opportunity, is in this continent. I think emerging markets is the, the business of the future and we're better to be than the sort of the hub of the emerging markets, um, particularly in Africa. It's funny, I think a lot of the guys at, uh, at night prefer to work inside the, the coffee shop because it feels like when you're stuck inside the cells, it's, it's a terrible feeling, there's, there's no light, it's, it feels like you are a prisoner and uh, with the amount of hours I've been working here, I, I feel like I am on lockdown most of the time, but uh, I love it. I think it's a beautiful place, it's, it's a fantastic location, so it doesn't really bother me too much. One of the advantages of doing a course at the University of Cape Town Graduate School of Business is that you are in this stunning city in the shadow of Table Mountain, which enjoys almost year-round sun. Plus, as a major city, it has all of the cosmopolitan lifestyle that you would expect, and you're never far from really amazing scenery. The classical business school model is really about maximising shareholder wealth and I think we're moving away from that to say what value do we bring in society, what value apart from shareholder wealth are we actually leaving behind. So I think that's what we try to do as a school. Yes, we've got the international accreditation and that's very important but we're more than that. We're, we're a values-driven school. <laughs> 